Hi everyone and welcome back to another quick tutorial video on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today's objective is going to be to identify and escape from a stall. First we're going to see basically what is a stall, then how to identify it and finally escaping a stall in any configuration. So first of all, what is a stall? In a nutshell, when an aircraft flies, there are little strings of air running along the upper side of the wings representing the airflow. When the angle of attack increases, that's the angle between the apparent wind and the aircraft's wing, the lift generated increases all the way up to the critical angle of attack. At this stage, the little strings of air will detach from the wings, thus stalling them. So, now that we know what a stall is in theory, let's see what it looks like in practice in the aircraft. What we're going to do is we'll maintain 3000 feet and reduce our power all the way to idle to slow the aircraft down. One of the first hints of a stall we'll notice is the stall warning horn. Once the stall horn is sounding, we can identify other hints that will confirm the stall. A high pitch angle, the nose of the aircraft is basically pointing toward the sky, and a really low speed on the airspeed in indicator. Finally, just before the stall itself, the whole aircraft will vibrate, will buffer. That's the little strings of air starting to detach from the wings. If we continue to slow down, we're in for a full blown stall, like so. We'll see how to escape from it the proper way. So, now that we know how to identify a stall, what we're going to do now is learning how to escape from it. First, we'll see how not to do it. What I'm going to do now is maintaining 3000 feet once again and reduce the power to idle to get the aircraft into the stall speed. While doing so, we'll try to identify the different hints we've seen earlier. We can see the aircraft's pitch increasing, setting the nose pointing towards the sky, the speeds getting really low, and of course the stall warning horn. The last warning is the aircraft buffeting right before the stall. We'll try to escape the stall by increasing the airspeed with full power. Now we can see that even with the full throttle, the airspeed is just slowly increasing and not enough to help us recover from the stall. Now, we've seen what happens when we're not listening out for clues and hints on the stall. We get a full blown stall which is difficult to recover from. And this can develop into a spin, one of the hardest situations to recover. What we'll do now is apply a bit of common sense and recover from the stall before it happens. Once again, we'll climb and maintain 3000 feet and reduce power to get close to the stall speed. We'll continue to slow down and wait for the stall warning horn to sound. As soon as we hear it, we'll apply the stall recovery procedure. Pitch forward, full throttle, and when airspeed is sufficient, gently pitch up to recover from the lost altitude. And there we are, recovered. The gentle pitch up during the procedure is to avoid this a secondary stall while recovering for the first one. The critical angle of attack can be reached if the stick is pulled too hard, thus developing into a new stall. If the stall warning occurs during a turn, the first action is the same as before, pitch forward. The aim is to reattach the little strings of air onto the wings and regain control and lift. Then you can set the wing leveled, full power and gently pitch up to recover the lost altitude. Finally. Sometimes a frank pitch forward might be difficult to do considering terrain. During the initial climb after takeoff, for example, as soon as you can hear the stall warning horn, a small forward variation of the pitch can be enough to increase airspeed and therefore escape from the stalled situation. So, to conclude this quick tutorial video about stall, we have seen what hints to look for, mainly the high pitch the slow airspeed and the stall warning horn. We've also learned the stall recovery procedure, which is pitch forward, full throttle, 
and recover gently when the airspeed is sufficient. We've learned as well that if we don't pay attention close enough to these hints, we might end up into a full-blown stall. I must warn you again that if you don't recover soon enough, you might end up into a spin, which is more complex to recover from, and also the subject for another video. I hope you enjoyed this short video, and I'll see you soon.